Now, this is the one I've built now, and as you can see, based on the Volkswagen Beetle, it's got German Army military theme to it, and Nissan 300 ZX engine, as in freely uh, V6 turbo, slightly different from 60 horsepower flat four, it's now 230 brake horsepower, and um, as you can see, metal rust theme. German camouflage style and it has the military theme to it as in German military Second World War uh, due to me having a bit of a military history and I'm into military history so it had to go that way it's got quite a few genuine Second World War parts on it always wanted a car with suicide doors so I build one Throughout you've got a lot of military kit. The gear stick is actually a genuine second hand German bayonet. Handbrake is a genuine First World War British bayonet. Just to change the theme a little bit. And lots of camouflage.
we are going to start with our first award, which is the Classic American Magazine Car of the Year Heat winner. Okay? So for this, you will win £200 and a space on their stand at the Classic Motor Show at the NEC in November. And it is going to Michael Nash in this absolutely superb 1967 Dodge Coronet. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Very nicely done. Now, do you want to come out, come out and join me? Come out and join me because we've got an award for you here. How are you? Are you well? You had a good well, day? Good, thank you. I'm good. Very good, very good. Now, presenting this award, we have none other than the Chief Executive Officer of the National Motor Museum Trust, John Murden. Put your hands together for John for me. John, that is a very, very long title. Do you, you know your business card, does it like fold out? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> most people just call me Dr. John round here. Dr. That's, John, that right. That seems to do the trick. I like that. Have you got a TARDIS? Uh, I don't, unfortunately. No, but I wish I did. That'd get people in. It would. It would. I wish I had a TARDIS to put all the cars in there, but never mind. So you're presenting uh, our first award. What do you think of this? This is a wonderful car. When I was walking around the show, I absolutely loved it. Um, anything Dodge Chrysler is good with me, so it was a really smashing car. I know I've just made a lot of enemies there, but I love, I love Mopar stuff, so this is a great car. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for me for our first award winner. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations to you, our winner of the Classic American Magazine Car of the Year. You will now be heading over to the Classic Motor Show at the NEC in November. You I excited? Will be. I am, yes. Well, make sure, to it. make sure it looks as good as this I for that. Best of luck to you there. Ladies and gentlemen, your first award winner. Thank you. Please put your hands together for our Best Bike Award. And it's known as it's Moody Blue. Moody Blue. Why Moody Blue? Because it's blue. <laughs> is, she, is she moody? Yes, very, very moody. Is this a complete custom build or did it start as, as something? It's a complete custom build, one off, hand built frame, tank, oil tank, fenders, seat, handlebars, points, totally rebuilt the engine and all hand engraved with a hammer and a chisel by a guy who was 89 years old. Wow. That that's not a motorbike, that's a work of art. Yes, it is. A work, very good work of art. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our Best Bike Prize, again, presented by Chief Executive of the National Motor Museum Trust, John Murden. I know. I love this bike. It's amazing. I mean, all the work that's gone into it. You said it, it's a work of art. All the, the engraving on the chrome work, it's just fantastic. And the paint, it's just beautiful on it. The Can it be as amazing. bold to say that the engraving on that matches your shirt? You can. I mean, the, <laughs> I, I also really like the stitching on the saddle. Uh, that's, a, that's lovely too. That so matches my stitching. shirt. Yeah, that that's matches perfect. Shirt. Thank you very much, Job. I'll let you carry on with your photo over there. Right, now we can move on. Now we can move on. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Watch it not start now. Oh, yes. Excellent. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our next award winner. This is our best custom. Come on in, sir. Come on in. Come on, there's loads of you there. Put your hands together. Let's hear you. My, I have... I have never seen one of these in real life outside of a museum. Come on, jump out, jump out for me. Come jump out. I have only ever seen one of these outside of a museum as a toy, as a little model. I've never seen one full size and I've never seen one as clean as this. You must be pleased. Yeah, very chuffed, yeah. And you got it a few months ago, so it's been a good result. But it's not a bad result. I'm assuming that you didn't buy it and then work like like feverishly to get it back to the stand. You bought it like this, right? I found it at the bottom of a lake one day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, for two months' work, that's not bad going. No, very good. Has this always been a dream you also own? Um, no, not really. I'm fairly new to the old classics. Um, so, yeah. So, you're fairly new to the old classics. You've started with something like this, and now you've gone and won Best Custom at the Beauty Hot Rod and Custom Weekend. You must be pleased. Yeah, I think the value just went up. <laughs> a little bit. You'll be wanting to sell it now. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, and we invite John Murden, our Chief Executive of the National Museum Trust. Can you get a shorter title for me? I'm running out of words here. Chief uh, Exec, Chief Exec um, to present the Best Custom Award. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our 1956. <laughs> Ford Thunderbird.
so much. Wonderful to see. That, no, that is stunning. That is it? a stunning, stunning motor car, isn't it? Everything about it is absolutely gorgeous. And everybody going in for the whole American look as well, you know, the passengers, so that's great too. Can, can you believe two months ago I bought it and now he's gone and won best customer at the Hot Rod and Custom Weekend? I've got to say, I've never quite turned the car restoration around that quickly myself, but yeah, it's an amazing <laughs> accolade, so congratulations. Indeed, couldn't say it about myself. Well done to you, sir. That is our best custom. Well done to you, sir. Enjoy. Oh, doesn't it sound good? Put your hands together for me, ladies and gents, for our best customer. Now then, coming up next for you is our best hot rod. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for this. Just look at this. You just, do you know what you smell of? Fuel. Cool. <laughs> just cool. You did that. Come on, come join me out here. This is a 19, 19, am I reading this right? 1932? Yep. I tell you what, when I'm 90, I hope I look as good as this. A lovely 1932 Ford Roadster. Tell me what you've done to this. Uh, a lot over the years. I've had it 32 years and just use it, abuse it, break it, fix it, and the cycle goes on. Excellent. I have to say, the colour on this, when the sun hit this earlier today, beautiful candy colour. Bit of bling. Can't beat a bit of bling. You've got to have a bit of bling. And I mean, you couldn't have, the, you couldn't have this in a boring colour now, could oh, you? Oh, no, definitely not. No, definitely not. Very good. Well, I have the pleasure of telling you that you have won our Best Hot Rod Award, and this is presented again by our Chief Executive Officer, John Murden. Congratulations to you. Lovely. Thanks Thanks a lot. How awesome is this? This is an awesome car, isn't it? If you think in your mind's eye what a, a hot rod looks like, it looks a bit like this. As you said, you know, just chance the end there. I love the fact he uses it and abuses it. It's a proper car, really, really smashing car to have here today. It is our best American, which is going to this 1956 Buick. Hello there, sir. How are you? Come out and join me. Put your hands together for your best American here. Hello, how are you? Right, fine, thank you, fine. You must be pleased. I am very pleased. I've only had the car a little while and I'm just pleased with it. You've only had the car a little while. Yeah. There's a lot of this, I've only had the car a little while yeah. and now you've turned up and you've won an award at the Hot Rod and Custom Show. How many years have you come to the show? Uh, second year. Second year. Yeah. So you got the taste last year and thought, yeah. fancy a bit of that, and now you've come here and won an award. Yeah, bought the car last year here when it was a mess and bought it this year, now it's clean. I tell you what, if that was a mess last year, it looks absolutely immaculate. The inside of that, well, it looks brand new. Well, I spend all my time on it, every day I've got. Don't be running off, you've got a prize to collect yet. Thank well you. done, mate, thank you. Thank you very much. A nice rare car. I love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. Now then, this is something, isn't it? It is. It is, Tim. Yeah, it, it's rare. That's, that was the clinch. It's a nice car, pretty and rare. I tell you what, we've been sport for choice this yeah, weekend. We have. Well, I mean, even the weather. We thought the weather was going to be appalling today, and we've now got sunshine. And just look at it. The show's amazing. Yeah. We've been sport for choice, and we get wonderful things like this. It's the hardest year we've had to choose that category. Definitely. Well, a huge yeah. thank you to you guys, because without you, we wouldn't be able to put on a show like we no, did. Probably. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the best American. And can I ask you to extend that applause to the Solent Renegades for me, please? And this is the Andy Saunders Award. Andy, how many cars have you built over the years? 65. 65. And you have chosen this wonderful thing here as your... Andy Saunders award winning car, and it is a Volvo Amazon Estate. I, I want to, what I wanted to do was give an award to a custom, it, it kind of, because I only do customs, it's got to be a custom, and this is a low budget, but very, very pretty car, and it's the sort of car that a lot of people that are interested, if they wanted to get into this scene, this is achievable by a lot of people. Mike's made a super job of the roof. The, the, the paint on the roof is very late 60s, early 70s custom paint. Um, it's, it's just, it's pretty. There's so much work gone in that people can't see, like the, the recessed door handles and all that. Um, it's just a nice car, which is, if it inspires someone else to build a car, then that makes the scene bigger. And I think it deserves an award. 
I couldn't probably but and do you know what actually we do need to be inspiring because the automotive industry is going through massive change now it's going to be changing dramatically and this is going to it's going to go past old school I don't know what happens after old school I think it's older school doesn't it <laughs> uh, so this is yours yep. answer me this question why did you start with a Volvo uh, it came up for sale on eBay cheap it was local I thought yeah I'll go and have a look and uh, ended up buying it and how m how many hours have you put into this? More than I can think. <clears throat> but it was absolute scrap when I started with it. So. Well, it's certainly a long way away from that. What I love is that you've repeated what you can see on the roof, on the inside there, and then the rest of it is just this very subtle white colour. It looks stunning. I saw this earlier and I thought, wow, that is that is very, very well done. And you've done it all yourself, have you? Yep, everything. Well, well done to you. Not only have you won an award, you've won the Andy Saunders Award. You've seen the quality of his work. So he's come along and said, that has got my award. You must be pleased. Yeah, over the moon. Chuffed to finish. Well, ladies and gents, I hand you over to Andy Saunders to present the award. Put your hands together for the Andy Saunders Award winner, our Volvo Amazon Estate. <laughs> I love this. This is awesome. Everyone, that, when you say so Volvo Estate, you expect it to be drawn with a ruler. Well, yeah, the, the, like the little things. That the if you're not into Volvo, you won't know. But like the um, front side lights are French '59 Cadillac white ones. The headlight peaks are I don't know what they're off of, but they're not Volvo. There's there's all these little bits that make it like a, a West Coast '60s American custom, and that's where our roots come from. And it, it, it needs to be um, applauded. Well, there you are, ladies and gents. Put your hands together for our Andy Saunders Award winner. Thank you very much, Andy Saunders, for presenting that there. So we have had six awards, which leaves one left. And it is going to this 1963 Chevy pickup. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your best in show. Put your hands together for me. Come out and join me. I tell you what, 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 you've only gone and won best in show. Holy, yeah, yeah. bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> you, are, you are live, please do not swear. You must be pleased. I am very pleased, yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your 63. Um, well, I haven't had it long, <laughs> so they're outside. Um, and basically it was a pro touring truck when I got it, and I've just sort of toned it down a bit and made it look the way it is now. When you say toned it down, well, when you stamped on the load pedal just, it didn't sound very toned I've down. Button, I've got a button to adjust that, so that's not too bad. Oh, OK. That's the show-off pedal. Right, the show <laughs> Oh, I see. You've set it to maximum. Yeah. Is that, yeah, yeah, that's the that one, yeah. That's <laughs> very good, very good. So you've won best in show. What does that mean to you? Well, just amazing. I can't believe it. can't believe it. I haven't won anything yet, so that's pretty impressive. Well, let's hope this is the start of many more yeah. things to come for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please can I welcome back our Chief Executive Officer of the National Motor Museum Trust, John Murden, to present your Best in Show Award. And can I ask you to put your hands together for our Best in Show. What an amazing truck. I mean, the colour on it, the wheels, everything about it. And I haven't even looked at the mechanical specification. I've heard the mechanical specification. It's, it is a, it's a fantastic thing. It's such a hard job to choose Best in Show. It really is, because the standard of all the cars and trucks and bikes here is amazing. So, yeah, we're really well done and thank you so much for bringing it for everyone to see today. Couldn't have said it by myself. Congratulations to you. you. You enjoy the truck, you enjoy your prizes, courtesy of Auto Glim. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please actually put your hands together for your best in show. Now then, ladies and gents, this brings our uh, show to a close, if you like. The museum's open until five o'clock later, but before you all run away, can I please ask you to help me say a big thank you to all of the staff here who have worked tirelessly to put this show on. Can you all put your hands together? So a big thank you to all the marshals and all of the Bewley staff. All that's left for me to say, ladies and gents, is I've been your commentator, Tim Watson. It has been nothing but a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you.